Well, we are rapidly approaching 2022, so here's a little bit of an early Happy New Year. But it's not happy for me because guess what? Adam is angry. And today I am really, really angry. So I want to take a minute here. I don't want to talk about something that's been happening over the past two years. Um, you know that there is a sickness that has been permeating our country and the rest of the world. Uh, and as a result, it's kind of made everyday life a little bit different for everybody. Uh, between the social distancing, between the, the mass, and then the patchwork collection of rules that go from state to state okay kind of getting used to it by now and uh, i just basically roll my eyes and shrug my shoulders and go about my life however one thing that it's done is it's basically given people it's basically given people who are uh either less than reliable or um you know just people who aren't any good, a permanent out clause for basically anything that they want to do. It's become a rather easy way to get out of doing things by blaming uh, the pandemic on one level or another. And it's gotten to the point now as we're approaching, I guess March will be two years, as we are approaching the two year anniversary, it's gotten to the point where it's gotten worn out so quickly, where I'm getting sick of people telling me that um, I can't do this, that, or the other thing, or we shouldn't do this, that, or other thing because of possible COVID nonsense. I suppose the best way to describe this would be to say that um, it has become the new, the dog ate my homework um, of the 21st century. Uh, it is the excuse that people always fall back on when they need some kind of out clause. They need some kind of escape hash. They, got, they have to pull the ripcord to get out of doing something. And uh, it, quite frankly, it's starting to piss me off. And I'm getting to the point now where I'm going to start calling people out on it. And I don't care if you're friends or family or whatever. I'm going to start calling you out on it. And that was what was the genesis of me wanting to make this video today. It is the uh, it is becoming the height of arrogance to think that that is an acceptable excuse before. I mentioned the dog ate my homework. I really want to know, at some point in history, someone was the first person to take a rabid wolf and bring it into the house and say now it is a pet and then over the course of breeding and blah 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 we've domesticated these animals but at some point that animal was brought into the home for the first time i want to know how long it took said dog owner to realize that they could blame stuff on their newfound um uh companion in the in the house how long until Something got destroyed. Did uh, you know, fog the <laughs> the caveman go? Oh, it was the it was that that remember the animal I brought into the house? I said it was gonna be a good idea. Well, that animal it chewed up your shoes. You know, when was the first time someone blamed the dog? Well, now it's getting to the point where people were using COVID as an excuse to get out of things, and we've gotten to the point now where it, it's just, it's run its course. And it's, and it's freaking, uh, it's insulting. I will tell you that, it is insulting. When someone says that to you, we can't do something together because of our, our fear of COVID. When someone says that to you, it means two things. One, they never wanted to see you in the first place. And two, it means they don't respect you. Because they think you're stupid enough to buy this, okay? You know what? You can tell me you're busy. You can tell me that you just didn't have time. You could even blame your wife and say she doesn't want to come. But don't, don't piss up my skirt and tell me it's raining. Don't tell me that, oh, I'm fearful of 
COVID. I'm fearful of passing germs. And I'll tell you, I've had friends, and I put that in quotation marks, I've had friends who've told me, look, we can't see you because we don't want to expose our family members to COVID. And then on the same day, go and meet another set of strangers. <laughs> no, it, very, it is insulting. Now, I don't want to mention any names here, but uh, quite frankly, that is a true story. We've had somebody tell us, look, we can't see you because we can't expose our family members to COVID. And on the same day they were supposed to see us, they went and saw somebody else, uh, someone else in a different part of town. And I was like, you know what? You, you could have just said, if you were a smart person, you could have just said, you know what? I, I can't make it over to see you. We, we got to go. We have this family obligation with the other person. I'm sorry. The schedule didn't work out. Would have been a completely acceptable excuse. And I might have actually bought it. I'm, I'm really getting to the point where this, this using COVID as an excuse, using it as the trap door to get out of uh, sticky situations. You know what? It's, it, makes you look, it makes you look weak. It makes you look like a fraidy cat. Um, and I guarantee you that un unless you are locked in your house, you know, unless you're like, I I'm serious, unless you're one of those nuts that I see on Twitter that has the, 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 the shop class face shield, the goggles, the mask taped to your face. And by the way, I'm not making this up on the fly. I actually saw somebody like that, um, wearing rubber gloves, like habitually sanitizing everything. Unless you're that person, the COVID excuse doesn't fly. It just doesn't fly. And I, I got news for you. This isn't medical advice in, by any means, okay? I've never, since day one, never been afraid of COVID. Never, not one time, never. I slept in the same bed with somebody with COVID for 10 straight days, did not get it. When they announced that COVID was causing Disney to lose uh, clientele because people were scared and they were staying away from the park, the first thing I did was grab my annual pass and head straight there. No lines for Smuggler's Run. I was not concerned about it at all, okay? I have eaten french fries off of trays in the hallways of hotels. I've eaten rolls off of, off of trays from room service in hallway hotels. I am not scared of a virus. I'm just not. It just, it does not bother me, okay? You have an immune system. It needs practice. George Carlin said that. So... If you're trying to get out of plans with somebody, if you're really trying to make up an excuse where you don't have to go and do something with a person, for your own reputation's sake, skip the COVID excuse. Just tell them you have explosive diarrhea. No one will doubt that. No one will ask questions about it either. And here's another little tip on a semi-unrelated subject. The best sick excuse to get out of doing something is you don't want to know and you can use that one at work okay you can use that one with your office with your boss okay you want to call in sick because you want to hit the beach one day you want a three-day weekend and you call in sick to work your boss says what's wrong with you you don't want to know they'll know better than to ask questions if you're a female, they'll, they'll probably assume it's like lady problems. If you're a guy, it's got to be it's got to be explosive, destroy the toilet, diarrhea. It's one of the two. And in both cases, your boss does not want to hear about it. So that's my best advice for you today. That being said, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor. We don't have any sponsors because no one watches these videos. And if you got to this point, I'm proud of you for getting to the end. So thank you very much. As a reminder, please like, please share, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get word the next time I'm about to go off the freaking deep end again. That doesn't happen if you don't click that stupid bell, okay? Hope you had a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Next video will probably come in 2022.